ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is the ABC 3340 Weather Extreme Video. This is for Thursday, the 17th day of January. I'm James Spann, and we're getting set for the potential for a major winter storm across the Deep South. How much? Who gets it? When? Let's talk about it. Let's go right to some Skycam images this afternoon. We'll begin with a look at Mount Chiha. Are you kidding me? That thing is iced up up there. I mean, uh, understand that up on Chiha, you can still see that there's snow on the ground. They're still in the clouds. Temperatures are in the uh, uh, mid to upper 30s there. And hopefully some of that ice will melt, but they could be slammed with more big-time snow. And I mean a real snow tomorrow night into Saturday. Now, it's not nearly as ominous looking on the western side of the state. There's the sky cam from Tuscaloosa. The sky there is cloudy. And from downtown Birmingham, looking north from the Daniel Building, is expected that today's been cloudy and cool and rather uneventful. And really, tomorrow will be the same. We expect no issues tomorrow. But tomorrow night, things could begin to change. There's a look at the uh, water vapor satellite imagery this afternoon. And the, the players are definitely on the field for this. You've got your cold trough over the nation's midsection. That is an Arctic trough developing Arctic air as opposed to the system we had yesterday that only had modified polar air. This will have real Arctic air involved. And you can see the system south of Phoenix, Arizona, and that will be swinging on through developing another Gulf low uh, tomorrow night and setting the stage for rain and snow across the southeast United States. There's your temperature scheme this afternoon. Readings are still in the single digits up in the core of the cold air up around International Falls. And uh, the front is uh, down through Missouri and not that far away. And that cold air will be tapped by this developing cyclone in the Gulf tomorrow night. Now, this is the QPF graphic coming from the guys at HPC. And like the system yesterday, I think their placement is way too far south on the rain there. Uh, more than likely, it will be farther north than that. And this is suggesting really nothing for northeast Mississippi and barely anything for Muscle Shoals, uh, about a quarter to a half inch for Birmingham, and then the heavy stuff down south. And again, I think the axis of that needs to be shifted just a tad north. But let's just get right to model output here. This is the GFS, the Global Forecast System, valid at noon tomorrow at 500 millibars, about 18,000 feet off the ground. Big ridge pumped up over British Columbia, up to Alaska. That's tapping the Arctic air. And there's your Vortmax over Mexico that will develop the surface storm. It looks a whole lot like the deal we had just a couple of days ago, except this one has the Arctic air involved. At the surface tomorrow, be a quiet day, uh, probably mostly cloudy. A few peaks of sun will hit uh, low 50s in most spots, uh, temperatures exactly where they should be. But let's get on down into, uh, of course, you can see the system developing off to the southwest. Let's take a look at Friday night at midnight. Now, this is off the brand-new NAM. I mean, I just got this in the house. This is the 18Z run, and this is showing the zero-degree line at 850 millibars. It's about 5,000 feet off the ground, running from Gadsden down to about Clanton and back over to oh, Utah. And the precipitation shield is moving in here. should be rain over southwest Alabama, and we'll kind of watch that Freeze line dropped to the south. This is Saturday morning at 6 o'clock. Same model. This is off the NAM, the North American Mesoscale model. And it's very consistent with the last two runs. Uh, it has the zero-degree line at 5,000 feet below Birmingham. Big shield of precipitation moving up in here, and that looks like a significant snow. Now, the NAM is farther north than the GFS. We'll clearly point that out. In fact, there's a look at the GFS model for Saturday morning at 6 o'clock. See the difference. The GFS has the deeper moisture down south, and that's colder. Uh, but for that reason, we've kind of drawn our axis of the heaviest snow potential from near Livingston to Clanton to Roanoke for tomorrow night and Saturday morning. And that would be about a 3 to 6-inch bullseye in through there, maybe more in spots with lesser amounts north and south of that line. And that's a compromise between the GFS and the NAM. Now, let's go back to the NAM. This is valid at noon Saturday. Remember, this is the brand-new run, the brand-new in the house, 18Z run. Are you kidding me? That's a big-time snowstorm right there. Uh, you know, if this is right, we're talking over five inches of snow. And, again, that little magic strip probably would be somewhere near that line we talked about, maybe a, pet, a tad farther north if this is right toward Interstate 20. 
But that's got major winter storm written all over it. And we're talking snow here, not freezing rain, not ice, but snow. And uh, we'll go to Saturday evening at 6 o'clock. We're going back to the GFS now because I don't have the latest name in hand for this period, and it's got the system out of here. So uh, really, if anything, this run is a little slower, but I still think uh, we'll kind of highlight the period from midnight tomorrow night until noon Saturday is the greatest potential for snow. And you want to see something interesting here. Look at this. This is the expected snow accumulation off the NAM. And I know it's got the placement farther north than what we're talking about. Uh, the NAM has the heaviest snow axis there running through north Alabama from near Hamilton up to Fort Payne. With the amounts dropping off as you go down to the south, the snow ends at about Clanton. But the GFS is much farther to the south, and our forecast is a compromise between the two. But, uh, again, read the blog for the specifics on our forecast. We're talking 3 to 6 inches in that 50-mile-wide area through central Alabama, lesser amounts north and south. We could see snow as far south as Montgomery, snow accumulation, maybe a few snowflakes deep into south Alabama. So there you go. Then Sunday, it's all uh, out of here. Cold is the word here. We'll be, be down in the teens, and if we have a snow cover, good chance we'll go in the single digits Sunday morning. Monday, the air begins to modify. Tuesday, here comes more rain. That looks like a rain event, although there could be some icing on the northern periphery of that, maybe over Tennessee and Kentucky. Uh, Wednesday, that shows a break, and then Thursday, more rain. So the middle of next week, rather unsettled, and of course, we'll focus on that once we get this winter storm out of here. And at the end of the cycle, just for the fun of it, there's a peek at uh, the 2nd of February. Big ridge over the Atlantic, uh, cold trough off to the west, and that suggests maybe we'll be in a clashing zone for a chance of rain or something in there. But again, that's uh, way down the line, and we'll deal with that uh, later. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and God bless.